What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's time for the weekly rotation once again and as per usual we've got loads of variety of some great smelling stuff that I, I can't wait to dive into. There were some wonderful wearing experiences. I started to dive into the Nitro line from Dumont. I've gone through three of those fragrances this week for example. So a lot of good stuff, a lot of pretty strong stuff if I'm being totally honest here. But it's week number 227 in the weekly rotation. So let's discuss. Stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday was a revisit of the first Nitro fragrance that I actually got my hands on and did a full review of. It is Nitro Red from Dumont, the hype beast itself. It's beautiful. If you like Invictus, Hawass, Y, Y, EDP, any of those types of scent profiles, you'll probably like this. It's a kind of that family of scent DNA plus watermelon. It's that simple. Juicy fruit deliciousness, monster performer. It's incredible. Wife's a big fan of this one. Gets a lot of hype online. Totally justified in my opinion. It's youthful. It's playful. It's sweet and fruity. I mean, you got to like that kind of stuff. Of course, it's very aquatic as well. Lacks some of the spice of Hawass. It's not as synthetic as a YEDP or an Invictus, but still kind of smells like all of them. And then that juicy watermelon note. I mean, it, it really, it's what separates it. It's what kind of makes it its own thing at the same time. Definitely worth checking out. It is Nitro Red from Dumont during the day. Then I got the shower. I don't know why I was in the mood for this one. But I went with Azaro's Solarissimo. This is Lavanzo. Just like the bottle color indicates, very green, citric, fresh, a little in the woodsy side. Great atomizer, great smell. Doesn't come across as too synthetic. Uh, beautiful fragrance. Shout out to my buddy Chad from the channel of the Gentleman's Journey. He gifted this to me when he came down to Florida. I want to drive over there and visit him. And um, I had never given this two looks prior, but it's actually quite nice. Is it super mind-blowingly good? No, but what it is is actually quite lovely. And if you can get your hands on this one for cheap still somewhere online, I would encourage it. It's great for the current season, uh, for springtime, but I wore it out the shower. This is a Zorro Solarissimo Lavanzo. Moving into Monday, the easiest way I can describe this one is it just smells good. It's that simple. It smells like it's a polo fragrance. It's Ralph Lauren's Polo 67, Polo Established 67, however you'd like to look at it. Their newest release, it smells like it is supposed to be a polo fragrance. Like, you should wear this with a Ralph Lauren polo. It doesn't have to be the brand, but you get it. Polo shirts, khaki shorts, it's kind of a preppy like you know, mid-level designer fragrance. This will just work. It's it's geared towards the younger demographic, but any of you fans of the Ralph Lauren brand will more than likely enjoy this fragrance. It's a uh, citric. It's a little fruity. It's nice and woodsy. Has a hint of an earthiness to kind of ground the scent because it's vetiver based. It's a woody, slightly earthy tone. Um, there's a little bit of a pineapple note, and no, smells absolutely nothing like Aventus. This is some good stuff. It's nothing special. It's not one of the best releases of the year, in my opinion, but it's a solid release. It's already hitting discounters. I saw it stocked at um, at Fragrance Buy within the last two or three days. I happened to notice it was in the new arrival section. Um, it'll get cheaper, and maybe it's worth checking out. Go to Macy's, get your nose on it, see if it interests you, because it is a nice fragrance. It doesn't smell redundant to the Ralph's Club line, the Polo Blue line, the Polo Red line any of the polo green flankers it's it's its own thing but at the same time it smells like it belongs so during the day Ralph Lauren polo 67 and then when I got the shower I'm just such a fan of this one beautiful orange fresh a little uh, has a little bit of a white floral smell that's not listed in the notes but I get a little bit of like a Neroli feel this is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Orange Solea I'm just a fan of this one. I like enjoying this one out of the shower in the evenings when I'm just relaxing and winding down. It's a really good scent profile. I got this 4.2 ounce for a little over 50 bucks. It came in a white tester box. As long as they have the cap, I could care less if they're listed as a tester. Beautiful. For being listed as blood orange, not all that zesty, quite fresh, juicy, airy. Just a great fragrance. I highly encourage sampling this one. It's Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Orange Solea.
Moving into Tuesday, if I had to pick one day for this week's rotation that was the best smelling day of the bunch for the combination of two fragrances I wore that day, it is this particular day. Starting with the newest release from Jasada, this is Jasada Titanium, the metallic mirrored fingerprint magnet bottle. Just There's no two ways about it. You can clean it all you want. Every time you touch it, no matter how clean your hands are, you're going to get some fingerprints. But this is actually quite nice. I get a little bit of Lamal Le Parfum's powdery, spicy smell at the top. I get a little bit of Reflection Man's masculine elegance with a hint of uh, kind of a slight herbal feel. There's a little bit of a soft touch of leather here. Um, I get some Pegasus metallic creaminess. Like I get elements, a little bit of blue, like YEDP hanging out in the core of this fragrance. I get a lot of elements that I quite enjoy encompassed into one bottle. So there's several things that will remind you of, which kind of makes it its own thing when you put it all together. Performance is really good. I just did a full review on this one. That's a damn good fragrance. It really is totally worth sampling. Totally worth sampling. Blind by safe? No. I, I wouldn't call it blind by safe. But at its core is a powdery iris tonka combo, which I am just an absolute sucker for. And I think that's the biggest tie-in for me from the Mall Le Parfum. Because there's a warm, spicy feel to this one as well, but it's still fresh and airy. There's a lot of elements to this one. It's actually not the most basic fragrance in the world to me, but it's also easily accessible and not a challenging wear. At least, I don't think so anyways, but... During the day, this beautiful new release is definitely one of my favorite releases so far this year. It's just Sada Titanium. And then when I got out the shower, it was time for a good shave, and it was nice to revisit. One of, in my opinion, let me get that focus back real quick. There we go. One of the greatest fragrance DNAs ever created. In my opinion, of course, I had a good shave with the Zaharoff Signature Rosé Shave Set. And of course, I gave myself some sprays of the fragrance. This fragrance is a huge hit in this household for both myself and my wife. She has her own bottle. We both like to gravitate back and forth to this one. Sweet, smoky rose. A lot of incense, multiple types of rose. It's fresh while being very resinous at the same time. The oud here offers a soft, warm wood tone. It's got a sugared sweetness to it. It's amazing. It's amazing. The Olibanum, the frankincense resin, stands out more than anything else in the base to me personally. I mean, obviously, you get some of the sweetness. I think it's sugar cane and vanilla bean, if I remember correctly, are in the notes. And really, it's not too sweet of a fragrance, but I quite love it. Quite love it. Great performer on me as well. So out the shower, had a good shave with Signature Rosé. Moving into Wednesday, this is a nice little twist in the realm of Aventus. Dries down to this soft wood watery like musk very fresh and like i said a little watery like on my skin very strange way that works out it's it's very spicy for smelling like aventus but still very fruity it's dumont nitro platinum great performer another one i just did a full review on this dumont line uh nitro line from dumont continues see how hard that cap there's no collar for it it doesn't click into place these caps hold really strong i gotta say Beastly performer, great smell, familiar with a twist. Aventus DNA, but creates its own thing. Like I said, it's still fruity, smoky, dark, you know, a little floral, sweet, all those different things. Musky, but there's a lot more of a woody base to this one. It's got a hit of leather, but not super leathery. But the biggest trade-off for me is all the intense spiciness, a lot of saffron and cardamom. Oh, man, and I love it. It reminds me a little bit in the opening of Kate Alfresan because of the saffron pineapple combination, but there's a lot more going on here. This is a good one. <laughs> this is a really good one as far as fragrances that smell like Aventus but aren't actually a direct copy of Aventus. I like the twists way more than direct copies and clones. I'm here for the twists, and this is a twist I really get down with. Good stuff. Like I said, Worth checking out if you're looking for a new twist and you like spicy. If you like Aventus meat spicy, you'll probably like Nitro Platinum. And I didn't wear anything out the shower. Moving into Thursday, I wore this during the day and then I sprayed a few more sprays again when I got out the shower that evening. Um, this is the reason I'm not going to bother getting Tigar. Any of you that saw my live stream at the beginning of the year for the 2024 wish list, I do it every year at the beginning of the year. Bulgari Tigar was on the list because I've yet to find something that 
is good enough. Like, I have several of the clones, your Tarathi Blues. I have Paris Corner, uh, North Stag, uh. Phenomenal, probably my favorite of the clones that I have. Um, Rubroca Theorem. I mean, I have a decant of Vibrato, which I actually do want a bottle of Vibrato still. I've tried Arrakis, Arrakis, however you say it, from Spirit of Kings. Like I've, I've tried most of them. The only one I haven't really tried is Black Panther. But for me, Kajal 3, scratch the itch just right for the DNA. Nice and fruity. This lemonade accord with the grapefruit really does the trick for me. Spicy. The Ambroxan not as, is not as heavy as it is in like some of the uh, more affordable clones that I have because there's some quality oils being used here. Even the Ambroxan is of decent quality. It doesn't come across as too scratchy. Um, and sharp and synthetic. I mean, Ambroxan is a man-made synthetic of the Ambergris family, but it's not overdone here. Where I have some where it's like based around Ambroxan, and I love Ambroxan, but I think the balance of the citrusy tone at the top is what kind of makes this one really speak to me. It is absolutely stunning. Great performer, too. And uh, it's one that's not outrageously priced. You can get this one in the low 100s from discounters. And this is probably the way to go. I would say it's between Suspiro Vibrato and Kajal 3. Get one of these. This is the way to go. They're very redundant to one another. I would say if you want a little bit more fruitiness, you might want to go with Vibrato. There's a lot more going on with citruses and fruits here. Whereas it's still beautifully citric here, but it doesn't have the level of fruitiness that's going on with Vibrato. Um, and this one's a little bit spicier. Not much, but they're, they're very similar. They're very redundant to one another, but they have their differences. But... It's between these two for me, and I'm thrilled to have a bottle of this. This is absolutely mwah, gorgeous. I'm so happy to have this, and it, it'll be in and out the rotation moving forward because I really, really dig this. So all day long, during the day, and out the shower, Kajal Ohm 3. Moving into Friday, if you like Ultra Male and you want a twist, you might want to check out Nitro Green. This was the third Nitro fragrance I checked out that I just did a full review on. Literally yesterday at the recording of this video, it came out. This is obviously slightly green. Not as green as you would think with the name and the color. It's not like super green. Um, it's not fruity like Ultra Male and 9 p.m., but it's sweet like those. Like it's clear. It's redundant to 9 p.m. and Ultra Male, but the biggest takeaway for me is it's slightly powdery and very metallic with a nice undertone of a green nuance. That like this fur balsam that's in the base kind of adds this green feel to it more so than anything else I believe. It's like a green metallic ultra male. It's that simple. And another one, great performer, three for three that are beasts. I still have more to check out in this line, and the track record is beast. So if you're looking performance and decent quality, bang for your buck, this Dumont Nitro line is that. I gotta say they are indeed that. Man, it's good stuff. Um, I wore this two days ago because it's Sunday morning at the recording of this. Man, this is good. Um, this, I, I don't know which is my favorite of the three so far. Honestly, I think I still kind of lean Nitro Red as my favorite, but not by a w wide margin here because these, these fragrances are just really, really good. If you want to hear more, check out my full review. But during the day, Nitro Green from Dumont. Then we got the shower. We switched it up to smelling like a watermelon Jolly Rancher with Aroma Concepts Original called Batik, which actually means watermelon. You can see the watermelon-like theme to this fragrance. Juicy, fruity, watermelon, apple smell. And I mean like highly concentrated watermelon Jolly Rancher. Love the way this smells. And somebody's gonna ask, is it redundant to Nitro Red? I've been asked that many times. The watermelon note can be, but they, they don't have the same profile. Even though they're both centered around watermelon, they're not the same watermelon fragrance. Um, this one is straight up like all about the watermelon. Well, that one's a bit more aquatic and has other nuances going for it, whereas this is just straight up fruits. I mean, there's other notes here, but it's strawberry watermelon, little hint of apple. That's the takeaway here. Smells great, very playful, very youthful, perfectly unisex. It's a fun fragrance, and it's cheap. Out the shower, Aroma Concepts Batik. Finally, on Saturday, we had a nice beach afternoon. Uh, I had finished my workouts and all that good stuff. We got situated, got ready, and went to the beach. Smelling nice and tropical with Zaharoff Signature Coco Loco. 
vibrant and beautiful just like this color the colors on this plate would indicate love this fragrance is starting to become the weather to pull this fragrance out because even though it's on the denser side for being a tropical fruity fragrance um, it still screams beach vacations and high heat summer it's a bunch of different fruits like clementine i believe there's pineapple in here uh, you have some coconut but the cardamom here really gives it this vibrance and brightens up all these fruits doesn't make it super spicy but gives it this brightness for sure there's a blonde wood accord uh, there's some light sweetness here musky tones but super tropical very festive beautiful fragrance a very festive fragrance uh similar to a pina colada type of creamy coconut smell but so much more than that i mean i feel like that's short changing it throwing that out there saying pina colada but when the coconut's creamy it's hard to not think pina colada at least a little bit right good good stuff absolutely adore this i would encourage getting a sample from the link below and checking it out if you haven't yet but during the day for the beach it's a Haroff Signature Coco Loco. And then when I got out the shower, because, of course, I took a shower after the beach, I doubled up. Two nights in a row, I went with Aroma Concepts Batik. Well, that was this week's rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. What did you guys wear this week? Definitely comment down below. I'll try to have links down in the description box for anybody that's interested in checking these out. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on anything I wore this past week, and you give them a spray now. You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.